Unbeaten in nearly four months of competitive fixtures, Rennes returned from the World Cup break with an opportunity to close the gap between themselves and second place Lens as they travelled east to take on Rance on Thursday. Coming into this encounter, the hosts have put together a nice run of results domestically, unbeaten in seven consecutive league fixtures and showing great promise under 30-year-old interim manager William Still, having climbed from the relegation zone to 11th. Equally, Leone hadn't lost away from home since falling 2-1 to Lens in late August. So certainly no clear winner. And it was the hosts who would produce the first chance after six minutes. Junior Ito and Alexi Flips combining on the right. And the latter picking out Flo Balligan, who volleyed in a beauty from the penalty spot. A nice move all round from Rance and excellent technique on the strike. Balligan makes it nine for the season. And shortly after, it'll be a case of deja vu for Ren. Ball in from the left, not cleared, and this time it was Flips with a well executed volley. The creator of the first goal takes this one himself. Steve Mandanda not able to react quickly enough. Ren would reduce the arrears just before the break though. The corner cleared, lifted back in. Headed on by Martin Terrier and bundled in at the back stick by Arto Teat. The Belgian centre back just about on side and beating Yevan Juf to the ball. Ren are the opponent Rance have beaten the most in Liga Ubrits in the 21st century, perhaps unexpectedly with the half-time lead here. Could they keep it up for what would be another big three points? Discussions for still on the sidelines. A long way from his management video game backstory now. But whatever he learnt along the way appears to be working and his side would wrap up the win as Mandanda rushed out to beat Balligan to a through ball but only succeeded in hammering it into Wamed Omari leaving an open goal for Balligan to move into double figures for the season. 37-year-old Mandanda became the oldest player in history to play for the French national team during the World Cup game against Tunisia but very much a day to forget on his return to domestic football. So Ren's run comes to an end. I hope it's just a blip rather than a post-break change of fortunes, but they drop to fourth either way. Arsorance moved back up into the top half. <laughs>